Jesus, blessed be your holy name, in the name of Jesus, blessed be your holy name, Lord we give you thanks, Lord we give you praise, Lord we give you thanks, Lord we give you praise, Lord we give you thanks, Lord we give you praise, let's lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord our God, tonight is the third night of possessing the gates of the month of October, the Lord have allowed you, the Lord has allowed me the Lord God have allowed each and every one of us to see the beginning of this month, and I know very well. According to the Bible, I say, He that has begun a good work in us will complete it. The Lord God that in my life, in your life, the Lord God that has started in your marriage, in your business, in your career, He will complete it in the name of Jesus. I say, God will complete it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will complete it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will complete it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will complete it in the name of Jesus. Can we just lift up our hand and appreciate God? Let's bless Him. Let's give Him thanks. Let's give Him praise. Please, if you are not here with your anointing oil, please quickly get your anointing oil and your prayer request. As you are coming online, as you appreciate God, bring, uh, get your anointing oil, get your prayer request for this month ready. Once again, can we lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord, our God. Let's bless him. Let's say thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus. For our family member, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you honor. To you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all adoration in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. My Lord, my God, we worship you. We give you praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. My Lord, my God, we worship you tonight. For this third night, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We say thank you, Jesus. For all our family members, thank you, Jesus. For our home, for our marriage, for our business, for our career. Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. To you be all glory, to you be all honor, to you be all adoration. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Please lift up your hand and worship him. Lift up your hand and give him thanks. Give him praise. Let's celebrate God this night. Our Lord is good. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. To you be all glory, to you be all honor. In Jesus' name, we are giving thanks. I want you to lift up your hand and say, Father, tonight, visit me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, visit my life, visit my marriage. Tonight, my Lord, my God, visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, can we decree and declare that tonight, let the Lord God visit us. In the name of Jesus, let our Lord, let our God, let him visit us. In the name of Jesus, say, so, Lord my God, tonight, visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, visit my life, visit my marriage. Visit my home, visit my business, visit my career. In the name of Jesus, visit me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, visit me. Visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Visit me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
visit me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let decree and declare, let God visit us tonight. Let God visit your home, your marriage, your business, your career, in the name of Jesus. Can we lift up our hand and ask God to visit us? Say, my Lord, my God, tonight visit me. 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 In the name of Jesus, visit me, O Lord. Lift up your hand and say, Lord, visit me tonight. In the name of Jesus, 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 let's ask the Lord God to visit us tonight. In the name of Jesus, say, My Lord, my God, visit me tonight. Visit me, O Lord. 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 Lord, visit me tonight. In the name of Jesus, 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 I want you to decree and declare it. Let God visit you tonight. Let Him visit your home. Let Him visit your marriage. Let Him visit your business. Let Him visit your career. Let God visit everything that concerns you tonight. Tonight must be a night of testimony in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career. Tonight must be a night of testimony. Say, Lord, visit me tonight in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, visit me tonight in the name of Jesus. Visit me tonight in Jesus' name we are pray. In Jesus' name we are pray. Please, those of visit me in the name of Jesus. Visit me in the name of Jesus. Visit me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are pray. In Jesus' name we are pray. Our Lord, our God, Again, we say thank you for this gift of life. Thank you for this opportunity to always come before you to cry, Abba Father, unto you. And each time you come before you, you are always there to answer us. And we know that tonight you are fully able to answer us. We return our glory ahead of time in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, tonight let heavens of wonder, heavens of mystery, heavens of testimony, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, glorify your holy name. Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. To every one of us on our online church, you are welcome to day three in the name of Jesus. You are listening to this message on um, any of our podcast uh, platform by the grace of God. Every day I, it keep increasing. It keep increasing. The, the audio platform, it keep increasing. As a Friday, we have Across over 70 different platforms. A pastor, a pastor of mine on Friday was with me during the communal service and he asked that how are you able to get all this uh, podcast platform where you put your audio? And I told him, I only register on Terry, only Terry platform, only Terry platform, only Terry. And uh, one of them have to be putting it on, uh, like, we put on other audio platform all over the world up to like a 10. You know, I said, but I tried to track and I saw like up to 50 platform where you have your audio. And I laugh. I said, it's mystery. <laughs> to me, myself, it's mystery. I don't know anything about it. The only thing I know is this. People are taking the audio and they are putting it on their own platform on different nations i mean in different nations people are taking the audio without editing it without doing anything on it they take the audio they put it on their own platform and uh, i will have complained i have the right to ask them to pull it down because i did not give them permission because i did not authorize it i did not give them any authorization that they should be broadcasting my audio but I will not do that because they are not making money from it. They are not demanding. There are some uh, audio you need to subscribe before you can play them. But all these people, they are putting it on uh, their platform free of charge. They are putting it on other nations free of charge. 
and uh, there are some uh, language they will put uh, um, there's an app that will that we translate that help you to transfer your audio from english to an, to their own language they put it on it so one of them when i click it i was hearing my first but i don't understand what he was saying he was giving them another their own language the joy is this the message of our lord jesus christ through this platform is going nations i'm here in lagos state nigeria but the message of our lord jesus christ the, the message of liberation to deliver people to liberate the oppressed oppressed uh, ones is going from nation to nation so because of that i did not ask anybody to pull it down amen my prayer day by day is god should continue to spread his good news amen to god be the glory and uh, before i go i want to say thank you to every one of you who are who god is using to partner with us to send your seed your tithe your offering here means uh, to put all those audio on the internet the video on the internet it costs it costs me some it costs uh, uh what do you call it data and we all know that data is money right now right now every month on the data i spend over fifty thousand naira just to put them there amen it would have been very difficult for me to do if not for your support if not for your offering if not for your tithe if not for your support so for every one of you who send in your tithe who send in your offering every month every week may the lord god bless you in the name of jesus my prayer is this as god as the lord god is increasing and expanding his world through this ministry may god expand your own vision in the name of jesus the work of your hand may god expand it in the name of jesus those laborers that will support you that will support that work in your hand may god connect you to them in the name of jesus once again good evening and if it's money in your hand good morning in the name of jesus tonight the day theory of this month possessing the gates of october this afternoon while i was uh, praying in the office 12 midnight precisely when i was 12 midday 12 midday while i was praying and the lord said open that you want to open doors of mysteries mystery and what is the meaning of mystery mystery when i look at the dictionary dictionary said something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain mystery something that is difficult to explain something that is imp uh, impossible to explain you cannot explain it just like i talk about my podcast now over 70 platform all over the nation difficult for me to explain how they got there those people that are even creating i try to look at some of those uh, platform and see the man behind them some of them are just language that i don't understand but because it's uh, good things so it is god that is can just explain how god is connecting them many of us on our online platform now have never met you have never seen you amen praise the lord tomorrow i may meet some of you on the road i may not even know that you are the one how did i come across you how did you come across this ministry it's just by the mystery that i already i cannot explain amen so mystery is something that difficult to explain impossible to explain or understand another word for it is miracle wonder or revelation so god is saying to you sir to you man this month of october you want to open doors of mysteries you want to open doors of miracle you want to open doors of wonders you want to open doors of revelation for you so tonight we are going to pray unto the living god doors of mysteries doors of revelation doors of miracle doors of wonders doors of testimony that will be impossible for you to explain how did you do it you are not able to explain it we are going to cry unto the living god that that door should open and i know that in the name of our lord jesus christ the doors of mystery will open for you in the name of jesus that doors of mystery that doors of revelation that must open for you to move forward and upward the lord will open it in the name of jesus let's take uh, some scripture down before we pray one two three four five six okay so that when i'm calling them i will know them that number number one deuteronomy 29 29 please for those of us who want to uh 
write them down, please. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Number two. Psalm 25, verse 14. Psalm 25, verse 14. Number three. Daniel 2, verse 2. Daniel 2, verse 2. Daniel 2, verse 2. And Daniel 2, 22. There are two scriptures there. Daniel 2, verse 2 and verse 22. Daniel 2, verse 2 and Daniel 2, 22. Number 4. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Number 5. Matthew 16, 13 to 17. Matthew 16, 13 to 17. And Matthew 13, 11 to 14. Matthew 13, 11 to 14. Permit me to start from the last two. The last we start from the last two, and I will take I will just read um, two or three from the first one. Matthew 16, 13 to 17. Jesus Christ asked the disciples. They said some they were telling say, Yes, you are Jesus Christ. Some people are saying you are are you Elias? Are you Elijah? Are you this prophet? Are you that prophet? And Jesus Christ now turned unto the disciple and asked the disciple. People call me Elijah. People call me Moses. People call me this. People call me that. Some even say I am a demon possessed. So, you, my disciple, what did you call me? Who am I? And Peter said, <laughs> hey, let's look at what Peter said. Matthew 16, 17. Matthew 16, 17. Matthew 16, 17. Verse 16, and Simon Peter answered. In verse 15, Jesus said, He asked, He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Savior, the Son of the living God. Verse 17, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you. But my father, which is in heaven. All of them were saying a lot of things. But Peter said, you are the Christ. No one ever called him Christ. Peter was the very first person that called him Christ. So Jesus now said, you know what, Peter? This thing that you said is not ordinary. Flesh and blood. Revelation of human being did not reveal it. It is God that revealed it to you. So, which means Peter got the revelation of who Jesus Christ was at that time by divine revelation. It's a mystery. If God did not um, um, explain to him, reveal to him, maybe he would just say, maybe you are this, you are, you are Jesus, the son of uh, Joseph the carpenter. Amen. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. The revelation that you need to know. The mystery, the secret things about God, about Jesus Christ, about your life, about this season that you need to know for your life to turn around. May heaven begin to reveal it to you in the name of Jesus. Matthew 13, 11 to 14. Matthew 13, 11 to 14. Matthew 13, 11 to 14. And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries, of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given it is given unto us to know the mystery the mystery of the kingdom of heaven if you are a follower of christ you must know god must reveal it to you reveal what the mystery of the kingdom of heaven the mystery of the kingdom of heaven is the secret of heaven and the key to that secret is for those of that revelation to open for you to see for you to hear for you to see and know the mystery of heaven what is the mystery of heaven concerning your life concerning your marriage concerning your business concerning your career what do i mean by the mystery what are you to do right now for things to turn around listen to me when you don't have the revelation you begin to sweat and struggle you begin to try everything possible but when God gives you revelation, you just apply it. It's a master key. 
and it just works like magic. I pray for every one of you online tonight, including those of you on Facebook. Tonight, the mystery that you need to know, the key that must be given to you, may heaven reveal it in the name of Jesus. As we all know, the whole world is created on mystery. Everything around us is born out of mystery. Is it not mystery? Let that be and it will form. Let that be Vivian and your mother conceive you. <laughs> Amen. Let it is time for Relua to come to this world. And my mother, who at, uh, as, uh, at that time, she already entered menopause. You and I all believe that any woman who enters menopause cannot uh, give her, cannot conceive again. A woman who already entered menopause. And suddenly she was having malaria and they say, ah, this one is not malaria, you are five months pregnant. My immediate sister, seven years between us, my own immediate sister, seven solid years between us. Why? Because that woman already entered menopause. No menstruation again. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. The firstborn, the secondborn, the thirdborn, they already have children. My mother said, first, our, I, call, I always call him our first grandchild. Our first grandchild is like three years older than me. <laughs> Amen. A woman's grandchild, three years older than our own last born. <laughs> Amen. So sometimes when we stand, people always look at us uh, because I'm taller than him. But it's like three years older than me. But uh, when we are standing, he cannot stand between me, beside me, because I'm a child. For him, he belongs to the grandchildren. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the living. Is that not mystery? Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. That testimony that you are waiting for, that testimony that you think that cannot be possible again, the mystery of God that will bring it to reality, receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 I believe in mystery because I was born out of mystery. That mystery, that revelation, that strange thing, that strange event, that strange occurrence that must happen for your testimony to bring forth, for your testimony to show forth into the whole world. I decree, I declare, if you can say, love that amen, that mystery, let it happen in the name of Jesus. 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 It is it is it is compulsory. Matthew 13, verse 14. That you and I we must have, we must know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Psalm 25. Doors of mystery must open for you tonight in the name of Jesus. Mystery means miracle. It means wonder. On Yoruba, my language. Please, I don't know what you call it in your own language. They call it Ashiri. They call it Ashiri. What is that Ashiri? <laughs> what is the English of Ashiri? Secret. What is that secret? What is that mystery? What is that strange thing that must be revealed in your life? And everything will turn around that will be light in your life. I decree, I declare, in the name of Jesus, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 25, verse 14. Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. He will show them. He will show them. The secret of the Lord, the Lord will show you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will show you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will show you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will show you in the name of Jesus. When things are tough, and it's like, oh, Holy Spirit, tell me this night. I really want us to pray. Hear me. Hear this secret. Anything that you are doing and you are sweating over it and uh, you don't understand it and it's like you don't know how to go about it. It's because the mystery has not been revealed to you. The secret has not been revealed to you. Hear me, sir. Hear me. The moment the secret is revealed, it will look like magic to you. 
it will just be like magic. People have gone far ahead of you. They will turn back and be asking you, how are you doing it? Please come and teach us. How are you doing it? Please come and teach us. The mystery. He said the secret thing belongs to God. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Every one of us this night, concerning that your business, concerning that your career, concerning that your children, in the name of Jesus, the secret things that you must know that must be revealed to you about your family, about your own life. Tonight, let heaven reveal it in the name of Jesus. Let heaven reveal it. Let it be revealed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Mystery. Doors of mystery. Which simply means doors of secret. Doors of strength must open. Strength that will move your life forward and upward. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. That we may do all the works of the Lord. Many of us, we are missing opportunity. Because of secrets that have been kept away from us. Many of us, many of us, devil is devil is stealing from us every day, every night, because of secrets that are kept from us. Is it not three years ago? Three or four years ago, I went on retreat on retreat. I have a note. Myself, my wife, all the children that God has blessed me with. I have a note about every every one of them. Page by page, as God is revealing it, my wife, my children, every one of them, what God said they are going to do, what God said they will become in life, written down. I don't need to be there. They know. As long as their mother is there, even if they want to divert my daughter, my mother will tell them, don't forget to. This is what God said you are. And one of them, God showed me what she will become in life. Jokingly, sometimes I used to say it. I don't need one of them, one of uh, um, precisely my first daughter. I don't need to pray when it is time for her to get married. Oh Lord, if she bring a sister and said, Daddy, this is the husband I need to marry. I don't need to pray about that man. God has shown me many years ago, some years ago. God showed me the picture of the man. So if she bring another man different from that one, forget it. I will tell her, Madam, I'm sorry. This is not the work God showed me. I have the clear picture of that man. What she's going to become in life, God showed me. And God showed me up to when she was in that institution and God jumped to after she was 50 years old. The kind of house she's going to live after she clicked 50 years old. God showed me everything documented in my notes. Hear me, sir. Less than a year after that, this girl fell sick to the point of death. She was admitted. And the doctor said, I should allow her to die. And suddenly she stretched. Thank God I was there that night. And she died. Yes, you are hearing me. She died. And the doctor said, I should leave her so that they can write, uh, transfer to Mog. You transfer my daughter to Mog. No, it cannot be possible. And I, I, I now remember, God, this girl is just nine years old, going to ten years. I think she's nine. She was nine then. She was nine years old, going to ten. But God showed me this particular girl that she's going to be 50. And when she clicked 50, what she's going to become? Huh? So there is manipulation there. So when they say I should drop her, I say no, I will not drop her. Because this guy is just nine years old. God already showed me ten when she will become 50 years old. So it's lie. We God lie. The Bible said God is not a man that will lie. Neither the son of man that will repent. So if God showed me that this guy is going to be 50 years old and above, and suddenly, less than 10 years old, she died. No, I will not take it. Because if I allow it, it is not dead from God. And I hold her, and I begin to speak in tongue, I begin to pray. And after like 30 minutes, life came back to her. And she came back. And the doctor said, ah, this is strange. Your pastor put her, put her down. And when she woke up, when she, she opened her eyes, she said, daddy, what is the problem? Eh? What is the problem? <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know why I'm sharing this? If God did not show me secret about that girl, 
that that girl will be 50 years old, what she will become. I will have, after like, after when she that guy die, I will have agreed with the doctor. 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I will have agreed with them. Let them carry her to the mortuary and that will have been the end. But because God has shown me secret. Hello, my hello, sir. Sometimes when devil is tormenting and harassing us and we are put your hand on our head crying it's because you don't know what god is saying it's because you don't have the secret about that thing when you have the secret about that thing you will tell the devil devil remove your leg from my life devil from them since marriage remove your hand this is what god said don't say that lord god concerning my marriage don't say that lord god concerning my business this uh this is my prayer coordinator so is it last year there was serious problem i know to her she was saying pastor um, i think i need to close this school you close waiting. I know at that time she'll be looking at me that this boy is just crazy. He said there's a problem like that. I want to close the school, let the children go back, let the birth. They say where? Because God showed me. Do you know what God showed me? God showed me a school that, that blossomed. God showed me a school in which the hand of God is going to rest. God showed me a school where God wants to mold children. So when she said, I'm going to shut it down, you are going to show what? And she just said what? I said, you, sh- you cannot shut that school down. Instead of you to shut that school down, God will remove you and replace another person there. What is the meaning? You just die. And God will raise another person that will continue with it. It's as simple as that. Power of revelation. Hello, ma. Hello, sir. That problem, that issue in your marriage, in your business, in your career, that thing that is giving you headache, that is giving you sleepless night, you just need revelation. Let just God just speak. When God speak, when God tell you something, Amen. Oh, I'm just happy. I'm just happy this night because revelation is going to flow in the name of Jesus. Doors of mystery be open in the name of Jesus. One more scripture so that we can pray. Daniel 22, 22. Daniel 22, 22. Daniel 22, 22. If you don't know what God is saying, Ah, devil will just rub this one. We now begin to throw stone, throw this, throw that, and we begin to take steal something from us. And when devil is stealing, say, ah, eh, it's God. I will wait for the time of God, and God will do it at the right time. Ah, which right time? Now is your right time. Don't allow devil to steal from you. Enough is enough. Daniel 22, 22. He revealed the deep and secret things. Deep and secret things. Ignore what is in the darkness and the light dwell with him. God revealed deep and secret things. Hello, sir. Hello, man. The deep and secret things that you need to know for you to come out of that obstruction, for you to come out of darkness, for you to come out of that pain, for you to come out of that confusion, for you to come out of, out of delay, out of stagnation, out of reproach. God must reveal it to you today in the name of Jesus. The man, the woman that must help you. God must reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. The man, the woman that you must run away from, God must reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready to pray tonight? Sometimes when there are delay in our life, and we are praying, oh Lord, break this delay. No! Delay that has broken many years ago is because we don't know. And we've just been praying wrong prayer. Let God just open your eyes and, and so that you know what is on ground. And we begin to deal with it. <sighs> Can you lift up your hand? Say, Father, say tonight. Say any sin in my life. Any iniquity in my life. That the devil is using to be cloud me. Not to see. Not to hear. Not to perceive. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Lift up your hand. Say, I receive the blood of Jesus. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I purge my eyes. When you are saying you purge your eyes, you, you put hand on your eyes as if you are washing your eyes. Say, I receive the blood of Jesus. Say, I purge my eyes. I purge my ear. I purge my mind. You touch your eyes, you touch your ear, you touch your, your heart, which represents your mind. Can you take it again? Say, I receive the blood of Jesus. Say, by the blood of Jesus. I purge my eyes, I purge my ear, I purge my mind in the name of Jesus. Say tonight, say, oh Lord my God, open my eyes, open my ear in the name of Jesus. 
Say, oh Lord, my God. Say tonight. Say, open my eyes. Open my ear. Open my heart. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my God. Open my eyes. Open my ear. Open my mind to your revelation, to your mystery. In the name of Jesus. Can you turn into prayer? Ask the Lord God to open your eyes, your ear, your mind. In the name of Jesus. To the revelation of God. To his word. To his heart. Say, oh Lord my God, open my eyes. In the name of Jesus. Open my ear. Open my heart. In the name of Jesus. Let my eyes be open. Let my spiritual ear be open. Let my heart be open. In the name of Jesus. Let my eyes be open. Let my ear be open. Let my heart be open. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God, let my eyes be open, let my ear be open, let my heart be open, in the name of Jesus, decree and declare, ask the Lord God to open your eyes, ask the Lord God to open your ear, and open your heart, in the name of Jesus, decree and declare, say my eyes be open, my eyes of revelation, be open tonight, in the name of Jesus, be open tonight, in the name of Jesus, be open tonight, in the name of Jesus, be open tonight. In the name of Jesus, be open tonight. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. Your eyes, your spiritual eyes, your spiritual ear, decree and declare. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus, let God open it tonight. Let God open them tonight. Let God open them tonight. Let God open them tonight. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. So Lord my God, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Let my eyes be open. Let my ear be open. Let my mind and my heart, let it be open. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare tonight. The Lord must open your eyes. The Lord must open your heart. In the name of Jesus, the revelation of God must be revealed. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, my father. Tonight, open my, open my heart. Let my heart be open. Let my mind be open. Let my heart be open in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord my God, open my eyes, open my heart in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Say, Father, tonight, let my eyes be open. Let my mind be open. My ear, you touch your eyes, you touch your ear, and you touch your mind. Let it be open in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Let the Lord God open them. Let 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 God open them. Decree and declare. Say, my Lord, my God, tonight, open my spiritual eyes. Open my spiritual ear. In the name of Jesus. My eyes of understanding. Lord, let it be open. 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 In the name of Jesus. Decree and declare it. Let it be open. Let the Lord God open it. Let 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 God open it. In the name of Jesus, decree that prayer upon yourself tonight. Decree that prayer upon yourself tonight. Decree that prayer. My eyes to see, to hear. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Let it be open. 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 Decree and declare. Say tonight. Lord, open my eyes. 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 Jesus' name, we are praying. Then you are going to change here. Say, Father, reveal hidden mystery about my life to me. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, my God. Say tonight. Say, Father, reveal to me hidden mystery that I need to know. Reveal it to me in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, reveal to me tonight mystery that I need to know. Lord, reveal it to me 
every hidden mystery about my life, about my marriage, about my business, about my career. Lord, reveal them to me. 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 Decree and declare. Let God reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. Let God reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. Let God reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Say, Father, reveal unto me hidden mystery. Every mystery that I need to know about my life, about my marriage, Lord, reveal it. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, in the name of Jesus, say the mystery. I can't hear you, sir. I can't hear you, man. Say the mystery that I need to know, that I need to understand this season. Do you hear that prayer? This season. This season that you are. This season that I am. What is that mystery that you need to know? What is that mystery that you need to understand? To know is different from understand. Sometimes we have revelation, we have dream, we have vision, but we don't know how to interpret them. We don't understand them. So you need to combine them together. Say, oh Lord my God, say mystery that I need to know, that I need to understand this season. Say, Father, reveal them to me in the name of Jesus. Reveal them to me in the name of Jesus. Reveal them to me in the name of Jesus. Reveal them to me in the name of Jesus. Reveal them to me in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare the mystery that you need to know, the revelation you need to know, and you need to understand for this season. Say, Father, reveal it to me. Lord, 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 reveal it to me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal it to me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal it to me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal it to me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal it to me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal it to me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal it to me. In the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Let God reveal it to you. In the name of Jesus. The mystery that you need to know and understand for this season. Say, Father, reveal it, O Lord. Decree and declare. Lord, reveal it. 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 Decree and declare. Let it be revealed unto you. In the name of Jesus. Let it be revealed unto you. In the name of Jesus. Let it be revealed unto you. In the name of Jesus. Let it be revealed unto you. In the name of Jesus. Let it be revealed unto you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, Father, release unto me the master key to unlock mysterious doors that will lead to my greatness. Do you have that prayer? Say, oh Lord my God, release unto me the master key to unlock mysterious doors that will lead to my greatness. Say, Lord, reveal it. Lord, release it, oh Lord. As you are praying that prayer, you stretch forth your hand to the front as if you want to receive something. Say, Father, the mysterious, the key to unlock mysterious door that will lead me upward and forward. Lord, in the name of Jesus, release it unto me. In the name of Jesus, release it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, release it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, release it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to decree and declare? Let the Lord God release it unto you. In the name of Jesus, let God release it unto you. In the name of Jesus, let God release it unto you. The master key to unlock every mysterious doors that will lead to your greatness. He'll ask the Lord God to, reveal, to release it unto you. In the name of Jesus, so Lord my God, reveal it unto me. In the name of Jesus, reveal it unto me. In the name of Jesus, release it unto me. Say, so I receive it. 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 The master key that will unlock every mysterious doors that will lead my life upward and forward, that will lead me to greatness, that will bring me out of delay, out of obstruction. So, Lord, release it unto me. 
Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. Release it unto me. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Those of divine mystery. Say open unto me. Define mystery. Define secret. Secret from God. Lord, open it unto me. Did you, did you agree with that prayer? Listen, if that mystery is not revealed to you, you know I said, mystery, you, a, 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 it can mean miracle. To some people, it can be wonder. To some people, it can be revelation. Some of us are a, a believing. A pastor of mine shared the testimony. She was bleeding for some days. And uh, they, to the hospital, they put out medication, they did and that, nothing. And what happened? A pastor just came and said, in Revelation, God gave me this thing for you. And he told him, he said, we are going to do it. And immediately, less than five minutes, the blood that had been, that had been gushing out for days, he stopped immediately. That is mystery. That is answer prayer. That is miracle. A pastor said, when the, two years ago, when I was doing online training for some pastor, he came and, and I said, Pastor, all right, this thing cannot work. I said, why is it not work? He said, I'm just looking at camera. He said, I'm just looking at my phone. It will not work. I cannot see people. I said, just imagine that you are having people with phone. He said, all right, he said, this thing will not work. He said, I don't know how you are doing it. You just be talking to camera, only you. And you think that it will not work. He said, no, I must see people. <laughs> Amen. It's mystery. It's a secret to me. When I'm, even when I come online and there's no one single person, I minister to the camera as if I'm looking at hundreds or millions of people. It's a mystery. Where somebody said, no, or like, this thing cannot work. I need to see somebody that I'm talking to physically. <laughs> oh my God. Secret. Secret. Can you take that prayer again? Say, doors of divine mystery. Say, open unto me. In the name of Jesus, concerning my life, concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my health, concerning my finance, concerning my family. Doors of divine mystery. Open unto me. In the name of Jesus. Open, 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 open. Doors of divine mystery. My life is available. Open unto me. In the name of Jesus. 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 Decree and declare. Pray that prayer. Doors of divine mystery. Let it open unto you. Concerning your marriage. Concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your finance, concerning your family, let it open. In the name of Jesus, let it open. 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 Decree and declare. Doors of the fine mystery. Open unto me. Concerning my business, concerning my expectation, open unto me, open unto me, open unto me, open unto me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to take that prayer one more time. When God now says I should start Sunday service, start the online Sunday service and uh, blah blah things like that on a retreat, I have to go and do research how to run online church. What, you, what people are doing is, you have a church, you broadcast your program. That one is totally different from running full-time online church. Where there you are not seeing anybody, but you are just, <laughs> amen, you are just on internet. You are on your own. So I, I, every material with my knowledge on computer, internet, everything, I put everything together. But it did not flow. I have to register for a particular course. A short uh, within a month, it did not flow. I downloaded some books, it did not flow. I bought like two books online, it did, this thing did not flow. I have to go back on retreat. I will not forget that night. On retreat, the, the third night, I was I was crying. I'm not saying praying, I was crying. I'm sure of what God asked me to do, but I don't know how to do it. Every knowledge, everything I know about it, it's not flowing. So I lied down, it was in the midnight, around 2, between 2 and 3 in the night. 
I lay down on open feet. And I was crying, God, just help me. This thing is not flowing. Just help me. And when I, when I, when I stand up and I was praying around, he said, now. <laughs> Somebody said, now. I just said, yeah, now. You yeah, write down. I immediately, I begin to write. I begin to write. And uh, I came back. From that day, it began to flow. It was flowing. <laughs> With ease. With ease. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. That thing that is not flowing. That thing, that business that looks difficult. That, that business that is not flowing. Eh? It's because you have not received the ministry that you need in that area. It's because God has not revealed something that you need. God just needs to tell you how to go about it. God just needs to tell you what to do. God just needs to tell you what not to do. And uh, believe me, when you apply them, it's like magic. And people will begin to ask you, please tell us, how are you doing it? How are you doing it? You just say, I don't know. I'm just doing it. <laughs> like me, if you ask me, how are you doing it? I don't know. I'm just doing it. I don't know. If I tell you I know I'm doing it, it's a lie. I don't know. I just know the topic is flowing. <laughs> Amen. I'm just hearing him and he's flowing. Say in the name of Jesus, those are the five mysteries that need to open concerning my life, concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my health, concerning my finance, concerning my spouse, concerning my children. Say you that do of divine ministry. Open in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 open. Command them to open in the name of Jesus. Command them to open. Command them to open. Command them to open. Decree and declare. Let them open in the name of Jesus. Let them open. Let them open. Let them open. Let them open. Let that door open. Doors of divine mystery, divine secret, divine revelation, divine wonder. Command it to open in the name of Jesus. Concerning your life, concerning your marriage, concerning your business, concerning your career. That doors of mystery. Let it open. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We take it one more time and we take the rest one. One more time. Mystery. Mystery. I've shared this online. A pastor, one of them, we are talking Wednesday, he said, you are, you, I just don't understand you then. But about five years ago, five or six years ago, the January, the Lord said, when it's August, January, he told me, he said, in August, when, when you are closer to August, make sure that your mouth is sealed. Many things will begin to happen, make sure that your mouth is sealed, you don't talk. What will happen that will not talk? Me? I will talk. Oh. <laughs> Amen. And when that time came, there was tribulation, there was persecution, there was this, there was those people that I was training, those who under me, those under me. Listen, this is since that church. Those younger disciples that they are coming under me, that they are looking out to me, they are now using them against me. Ha! And God said, I should not talk. But me, I'm not that kind of person that will not talk. But because Revelation says I should not talk, you know what I will do? I will go to the toilet. I will lock myself inside the toilet. I will weep. I will cry. When I finish, I will come out of that toilet. I will use water to wash my face. <laughs> I will be going again. I will just be smiling. The worst thing I will say is, well, whatever they say, I just say, I'm sorry, sir. Ha. One day they summon me. When they talk, I say, I'm sorry, sir. He said, no, you don't understand this thing. This is what we said. This is, I said, yes. I said, I'm sorry, sir. He said, no. One of them said, no, already, you don't understand. We have a meeting before now, and uh, this is our conclusion. I said, yes. I said, I'm sorry, sir. Ha. You know why? They know that already will not take nonsense. So they already have uh, their weight. They know there is weakness. This is how we are going to capture him. He won't take it. So we use his word against him. But <laughs> mystery. Uh, one of them called me one day said, All right, can't you just put your head down one day? We want to knock your head. Eh? We want to we want to knock your head, coin, so that you feel pain. What 
I said, I don't understand. He said, every time we plan, you always double cross us. When we say, okay, today, this is what we are going to do for him. You double cross us. I said, me too, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's a mystery. Hello, sir. We always walk into trap. We allow the enemy to cause affliction on us because we don't know, because we don't hear him, because mystery that must, we must know concerning that job, we don't know. So we make our enemy, our own enemy, we make him our friend. Can we take that prayer one more time again before we take the rest? Say those of divine mystery that must open concerning my business, concerning my life, concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my health, concerning my finance, concerning my family, say in the name of Jesus, those of divine mystery, those of miracle, those of wonder, those of revelation, open in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 open. Jesus' name we are praying. Mystery. I think I'm just I'm just I'm not flowing that we should leave this particular one. Here, Mr. There are some strange things that must happen in your life. Either you agree or you don't agree. You may not like them, but they must just happen. And when that thing happens, you know why it's going to happen? Because that is what is going to move you upward and forward. There's some place that on your own you will not go. But spiritually, God has marked that that is going to be the place that is going to launch you up. Me, you will not go, but you just find yourself there. Strange thing. Strange thing that must happen. Strange thing that must happen that must give your life a new meaning. Sister Vivian, this month, Sister Christelle, this month, Sister Jane, this month, every one of you online on our online church, this very month, strange thing, strange mystery that must happen for you to look back and say, So, this is what God is trying to do in my life. This is the testimony, this is the miracle that God is trying to work out in my life. I decree, I declare, if every one of you can say it loud, that amen, that strange miracle, that strange wonder, that strange event that you cannot explain, that you do not even have inputs, that will just happen and will launch you and everything will turn around for you and you will lift up your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. That event, that strange event, in the name of Jesus, receive it 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 in the name of Jesus. To you it may be a mistake, but it's a define. Orelua that you are looking at now, I don't go to church. I don't enter church. Me enter church. What are they doing inside that church that I want to go and do? I don't go to church. I don't enter church. Even when my whole family go to church, I will stay outside. I don't go to church. But when God knows that it is time for this boy to give his life to Christ and start <laughs> and begin to tailor and he wants to tailor me, what happened? I travel home. And my sister, my mother said I should give something to my sister. And my sister said I should bring it to a particular church. He described the church. When you bring it, I will be there. I will just collect it so that you can go back. Because my sister knows that I don't go to church. I don't enter church. I took it there. On getting there, they came late. It escaped her mind. So I was waiting for her, waiting for her, waiting for her. She came around, uh, around what time? Around 10 o'clock, 10, 11. So it was difficult for me to go back home. And she now said, what are you going to do? She said, you go and stay inside Moto because you will not enter church. I said, we enter church. He said, no, uh, you can. You will not enter church. <laughs> I said, we enter church. So my sister looked at me and said, eh, you want to enter church? I said, yes, I will enter church. That was how I entered church. And when the pastor came out, the five uh, prophets and revelation just said, there's a school boy here. There's a young boy here. You want to do something. You want to do this. You want to do this. You want to do this. And the Lord said, you should not do it. The Lord said, you can just surrender unto me. Eh? I will take care of your life and I will change you, I will package you. My sister and the husband, they look at themselves and they look at me. When we finish in the morning, when we are going back home, my sister said, do you gain anything today? I just laugh. And my sister said, my husband said that revelation is for you. I said, I know. He said, you know. I said, yes, yeah. it's about me. The second day, 
I was in that church before my sister. That was how God ordered my step to church till today. <laughs> Me that will not enter church. Is it not by mistake? See how God work it out. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. That event to you that would be maybe error or mistake, but that God will use to package you and show you to the whole world and celebrate you. And people will begin that your business, that your that your career, that little business you think that is little in your hand. There are people will be saying, Yes, we want to celebrate it. It, it. it is this one, it is this one. Today I decree, I declare. That mystery that must happen. Receive it tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's take the next one. I'm looking at time. I'm outside the time region. Say, Father, say, open my eyes to receive hidden mystery that will prosper me in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, open my eyes, open my ear to receive hidden mystery that will prosper my ways. That will prosper my work, that will prosper my career, that will prosper every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Father, open my eyes, open my ear, 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 open my eyes. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The next prayer we are going to declare and declare. See, I receive divine solution to any problem, to any issue. In my life right now in the name of jesus do you hear that prayer lift up your hand say father say any problem any issue in my life in my marriage in my business in my career concerning my finance concerning my health say i receive the first solution in the name of jesus i receive solution 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 in Jesus' name, we have decreed. In Jesus' name, we have decreed. Show Lord my God. Say, show me great and mighty thing that I need to know about myself, about my destiny, about my career, in the name of Jesus. Show Lord my God. Say, show me great and mighty thing that I need to know about myself, in the name of Jesus, about my life, in the name of Jesus, about my business, about my career, as the Lord God to show you great and mighty things that you need to know about yourself, about that business, about your husband, about your wife, about your children. Great and mighty things, deep and secret things. Say, Lord, show me, oh Lord. Father, show me. Lord, show me. Oh Lord, show me. Oh Lord, show me. Oh Lord, show me. Oh Lord, show me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, every dark cover. Projected from the pit of hell against my spiritual air and my spiritual eyes. Say, Tia, in the name of Jesus, anything projected from the pit of hell to cover me, to blind me, to cover my hair and my eyes, to prevent me from seeing the wonders of God, from receiving revelation from God. Say, Tia, 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 Jesus name we are praying. So Lord my God, teach me, guide me, lead me on how to effect a positive change. In every area of my life. Do you hear that prayer? So Lord my God. Say lead me. Guide me. And teach me. How to effect a positive change. In every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. Can we begin to decree and declare. Let the Lord God teach you. Let the Lord God guide you. Let the Lord God show you. Let the Lord God teach you. Let the Lord God guide you. Let the Lord God lead you. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer. Say Father teach me. Guide me and lead me. How to effect a positive change in every area of my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career. Has the Lord God to teach you? Has the Lord God to lead you? In Jesus' name, we are praying. Psalm 25, verse 4 and verse 5. Psalm 25, verse 4, verse 5. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Lead me in your truth. Say, O Lord, my God. Say, teach me. Guide me and lead me on how to have a positive change in my situation, 
in my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask the Lord God to teach you, ask the Lord God to guide you, in the name of Jesus, on how to have a positive change. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Please bring out your prayer request. Bring out your prayer request for this month, for this week, for this season. Lift it up. Just one prayer. Say, Father, say my prayer request. If you don't have your prayer request, you lift up your right hand. Say my prayer request for this season. Say, O oh Lord my God, breathe upon it the breath of life in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord my God, breathe upon it the breath of life in the name of Jesus. My prayer request, my project for this season has the Lord God to breathe upon it the breath of life in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, breathe upon it bread of life, breath of life, breath of life. Bread of life, bread of life. Pray on it. Pray on that your prayer request. Let God breathe upon it. The bread of life. Testimony. 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 Upon my prayer request. Lord, turn it to testimony. In the name of Jesus. Father, turn it to testimony. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, turn it to testimony. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, turn into testimony in the name of Jesus. Testimony, 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 testimony. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Last prayer for tonight. Bring out your anointing oil. If you don't have your anointing oil, you just lift up your hand. I will tell you what you are going to do with that hand. Everybody bring out your anointing oil. Your anointing oil, bring it out. I'm waiting for every one of us to bring it out. You are not in know, Please bring it out. Thank you, Jesus. Can you open it? If what you have there is screw, open it. But if it is those uh, with spray cap, don't worry. But if it is the screw cover, please open it. Thank you, Jesus. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you. Power of the Almighty God, that anointing oil in your hand. Let the power of God flow into it in the name of Jesus. The power of resurrection. Every dead vision. Every dead vision. The power of resurrection that will bring them back to life. Let it flow into that oil in your hand in the name of Jesus. The grace of God. The grace of God. The grace of God. Let it flow into that oil in the name of Jesus. The favor of the Almighty God. Let it flow into that oil in your hand in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Almighty God that consumes shafts. Let it flow into that oil in the name of Jesus. The breath of life. Let it come upon that oil in the name of Jesus. As you are not yourself, as you are not your family, as you are not your house, as you are not everything that concerns you, from this time henceforth, mystery of the Almighty God shall begin to flow through it in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are not today, there shall be mystery. There shall be revelation. There shall be miracle. There shall be wonder. As many of you that you are sick right now, as you are not yourself, healing of God flow in the name of Jesus. I said the healing of God flow in the name of Jesus. As you are not your document, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the favor of the Almighty God for perfection will flow into those documents in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. You know what you are going to do? Put your finger inside that oil and you anoint your head. I even spray spray your head with oil. Anoint your head. After you anoint your head, you put hand on your head and begin to bless your head. Your, your head represents your glory. Begin to speak to it. In the next uh, one minute, put hand on your head as you anoint yourself. Pray for yourself. This month of October, the last quarter of this year, the last three months, what do you want to see? What do you want to attain? What are those things you don't want? What are those things you want? What are those things you don't want? Begin to mention them before the Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Speak, speak, speak. Be a prophet unto yourself. Be a prophet. Be a prophet. Be your own prophet. Be your own prophet. This month has been declared as the month of rain of God's blessing. One of, 
people release as they for the reign of God, reign of blessing, reign of his blessing to fall. As for mystery, define mystery. As for secret of the Almighty God, doors of secret, as the Lord God to open it unto you. Thank you, Jesus. As the Lord God to empower you for this month. The power of the Almighty God for you to make it, to travel, for you to have testimony, for you to sing your own song of, test, of thanksgiving. Ask for that power. Ask for that grace. Everybody, turn your prayer now. Say, Lord, this month, favor me. Turn it now. Say, Lord, this month, favor me. Favor the work of my hand. Mystery behind favor. Say, I want to see it. I want to know it. Thank you, Jesus. Ask for that favor. Ask for that favor. That this month, Lord, you favor me. You favor my marriage. You favor my business. You favor my career. Begin to ask for favor now. Favor of the Almighty God. 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 Favor of God. Ask for it. Thank you, Mighty Father. Now, that your hand, you will put it, touch your two eyes. Say, Lord, say, I'm not my eyes. That from today, I will not walk in darkness. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, reveal to me mystery that I need to know. Now, you put hand inside your hair lobe. In your two eyes, your two hair. Now, anoint it. Your, the holes inside your, your, do you call it hair lobe or hair drum? So, put hand there. You anoint the two hair. Let God begin to speak to you. And let your hair begin to receive. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. I declare, I declare upon every one of us, as you go into this month, that this month, as it has been declared by the Almighty God, as our month of reign of God's blessing, the rain will fall in the name of Jesus. You will not miss it in the name of Jesus. You will not lose it in the name of Jesus. Your reign of blessing will not be diverted, will not be hijacked in the name of Jesus. I reject the wasters in your life in the name of Jesus. Every mystery, every revelation, every secret, every wonder, every miracle that you must receive from today, let God begin to release them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. If you have been blessed, why not just lift up your hand and appreciate God. Lift up your hand and bless His holy name. Let's appreciate God as we round up tonight. Let's appreciate God for his wonder. Let's appreciate God for the testimony that is coming our way this month ahead of time. Appreciate him. Say thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you honor. In Jesus' name, we give thanks. Before we go, if you have been blessed, it is good when you come before the Almighty God for prayer like this to give an offering. It is good. Our pastor taught us that it is good. Even as a pastor, when you come, it is good to give, to give. Don't say, I'm a pastor, I will not. It is good. They taught us that. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So you are there, you have been blessed. With the, for the past three nights, tonight you have been blessed. It is good to give an offering. Amen. Praise the Lord. Not only that our pastor taught us, we also read it in the Bible that it is not, it is not good to come before the Almighty God, empty and dead. So you are saying, Pastor, I've been blessed. I want to give an offering. Lift up your hand. As you are lifting up that your hand, it represents the offering that you are going to give. Please lift it up. I pray for every one of you, lifting up your hand, representing the seed, the offering that you are going to give after this program. Let God bless your hand in the name of Jesus. That seed as a token to connect your request in the past three days. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare that upon this altar of prayer, let your offering be acceptable unto the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. The fire of God, let it consume the altar, let it consume the seed in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, sir, I pray for you, man. As you are lifting the hand, representing the offering, in the name of Jesus, that hand will never, never know sorrow in the name of Jesus. That hand will never, never know a better yesterday in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Every business online, any one of you that you are having business, but it's like doors have been shut against that business. This morning, I decree, I declare, let doors that have been shut against your business begin to open in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. Jesus' name, I pray. You are saying, Pastor, am I going to give it? 
you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Just send the message to my number. I will send you the account detail. Plus 234-80-626-6255. You are led to give an offering, to give a seed. Just send a message to plus 234-80-626-6255. I will give you the account detail. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Till we meet again another time by the special grace of God. Go into this month. I begin to profit. I begin to prosper. And let God bless the work of your hand. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, good morning, sir. Good morning, man. I can now welcome us to the new month. You are welcome to your month of blessing, reign of blessing. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your hands up,